Montana Secretary of State's office says it has resolved an issue after an overseas voter reported not all candidates appeared on their electronic ballot. MTN senior political reporter Jonathan Amberian has a closer look at what happened. A federal law says that military members, their families, and other U.S. citizens living overseas can vote through a special absentee ballot procedure. The Montana Secretary of State's office says their electronic system for those voters had to be temporarily taken down on Friday after an issue that led to some ballots not displaying correctly. The federal government requires overseas and military voters be able to vote at least 45 days before the election. Montana opened its electronic absentee system for those voters on Friday morning. But an article in the Daily Interlake says a Flathead County man living abroad soon reported his electronic ballot didn't include Democratic presidential candidate Kamala Harris. He reached out to election officials about the issue, and Secretary of State Christy Jacobson's office said in a statement that they took the system offline, worked with their vendor to troubleshoot the problem, then got the system back up by Friday afternoon. A spokesperson told MTN Monday that they've contacted the affected voter and, quote, no further action is required. The number of voters affected here is likely very small. Jacobson's office says about 350 people used the electronic absentee system during the June primary. They said this won't affect the ballots being printed for mail voters within Montana or polling place voters. Absentee ballots will start going out to voters in the state on October 11th. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. There's just one week left to apply for a Montana property tax rebate. While many homeowners in the state have seen their property taxes go up recently, the rebate program aims to give some of the money back. MTN's Tom Buchanan has more on what you need to know. Through the Montana Department of Revenue, homeowners in Montana can receive up to a $675 property tax rebate for the 2023 tax year. There is only one week left to apply for a 2023 property tax rebate. Jason Sleed, Communications Director for the Montana Department of Revenue, says they made several changes to the application process this year in order to have a more user-friendly platform. The second year, the application process has become easier. We've done some extra strides to make sure that people can get that money easier and it's not as painful. In order to receive the rebate, you must be a Montana taxpayer who has billed and paid property taxes on your principal residence. Your rebate is dependent on how much you paid in property taxes. Those applying for the rebate must meet certain criteria, such as owning and living in the Montana residence for at least seven months in 2023. Homes held in an LLC are not eligible for a rebate. Governor Greg Gianforte signed House Bills 222 and 816 in 2023, allowing for this property tax relief. Homeowners received more than $140 million from the property tax relief program last year. And so far for the 2023 tax year, nearly $130 million has been returned to Montana homeowners. Sleed says this money helps alleviate the recent inflation many families have been facing. But this particular program actually gives money back into the hands of our, our residents, of our friends and family and neighbors. And it gives them some money to do whatever they want with. Um, and that way, it just kind of takes some sting out of, out of the rising costs and, and the things that are going on in our state. All rebates will be mailed to eligible applicants. There is no direct deposit option available. We'll have the link for the property tax rebate on our website. Claims for the rebate must be filed by October 1st. Reporting in Helena, Tom Buchanan, MTN News.